morning. I saw the plane coming this way in a spot. It was factory director to the building. Was this the was first plane or the second plane? This was the first plane. The second plane, this no second plane. It was a bomb. Bomb in another building, not second plane. That was a bomb. But then there were other doors that were locked, so we were brought into another floor when there was another explosion, and they finally let us continue to go down. What was happening around you? People screaming? No, no, people were pretty calm. <clears throat> when we got down to sixth floor, there was like another shake or another explosion. Everyone started panicking, but... Rick Sanchez has been there throughout this morning for us. Rick, tell us where you are and what the latest is. I spoke with some police officials moments ago, Chris, and they told me that they have reason to believe that one of the explosions at the World Trade Center may have been caused by a van that was parked in the building that may have had some type of explosive device in it. Joining me is Jack Kelly. Now, he is a foreign correspondent. He has some information about these attacks. Jack, what can you tell us happened first in New York? Um, apparently what appears to happen was that at the same time two planes hit the building that there that the FBI most likely thinks that there was a car or truck packed with explosives underneath the buildings which also exploded at the same time and brought both of them down. Now that's the first time we're hearing that. So two planes and explosives that were in the building, is that correct? That is the working theory at this point. That is still unconfirmed, but that is what the FBI is going on at this point. NBC's Pat Dawson is close to the scene of that attack. Pat? Just moments ago, uh, I spoke to the chief of safety for the New York City Fire Department. We received word of the possibility of a secondary device, that is another bomb going off. There was another explosion which took place. According to his theory, he thinks that there were actually devices that were planted in the building. Yeah, here's one of the guys. He can tell you I'm okay, all right? Here, hold on. You want to call, you, you call your mother or something? Don't worry about me. You need to make calls right now. Alright, It just went ba boom, it was like a bomb went off. And it was like, it was like holy hell coming down them stairs. And then when we go, we got, finally got to the bottom, they were coming out, on a mezzanine level there, and another explosion came right from it, just everyone flying. Like, it sounded like gunfire. You know, bang, 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 bang. And then, and then all of a sudden, three big explosions. I was about five blocks away when that, I heard uh, explosions, three thuds, and turned around to see the building we just got out of. Antenna tip over and fall in on itself. At, at 10.30, I tried to leave the building, but as soon as I got outside, I heard a second explosion and another rumble. And then a fire marshal came in and said we had to leave because if there was a third explosion, this building might not last. We stuck on the stairs for a while. We finally got down to the lobby. Then we get to the lobby, it was this big explosion. As we were getting our gear on and making our way to the stairway, there was a uh, heavy-duty explosion. Then somebody said that they saw an airliner going to one of those towers. Then, uh, I don't know, an hour later than that, we had that big explosion from much, much lower. I don't know what on earth caused that. We've heard reports of secondary explosions after the aircraft impacted, whether in fact there wasn't something else at the base of the towers that in fact were the coup de grace to bring them to the ground. I did pass through a couple of parks and on some of the streets, and before, when I reported about an hour ago, there were people at their gas pumps who turned to look at the smoke that was coming from the city, folks stepping out of bodegas and stores to look. Now people are gathering in large groups. In fact, at one corner, I saw a group of people actually holding hands and praying. As I stand on the end of an axe bridge, which is closed, it is open to pedestrian traffic. Uh, some people are walking across, but there's just no way for them to, uh, as I look at something else that I can't see, it's 